write a C++ program to overload the operator plus for adding the timing of two clock objects using friend function. In this program, we are using a class which is named as clock. In order to store the timing, we have three private data members, hour, minute, and second. And we have written in the public section one default constructor and a parameterized to constructor. Parameterized to constructor is used to initialize the hour, minute, and second data member. When we have a display method, which is used to display the pri private data members, hour, minute, and second. By using a cout statement, we are displaying hour, minute, and second inside display method. Now, in the previous program, we have performed the addition of two timing object by using a member function. Now, we are rewriting the logic by using a friend function. So, while we are doing with the friend function, we have to declare the friend function inside the class. In order to declare a friend function inside a class, we have to use the keyword friend followed by the prototype of the function. So here return data type is clock and the function name is operator plus. Now we have to overload a binary operator. So in order to overload a binary operator by using a friend function, we have to pass two parameters. Both must be the object by which we have to overload the operator plus. So we have passed two object, which is the object of clock. So we have mentioned clock as the parameter. Now the logic of the friend function we are defining outside the class. Return data type is clock. The function name is operator plus. And the first parameter is mentioned as C1 and the second parameter is mentioned as C2. The first parameter C1 act as the first object and the second parameter C2 act as the second object by which the time need to be added. So second minute and hour of the first operand and the second operand can be accessed by using C1 and C2 respectively. So in the logic first we add the timing as the first we add the second of the first and second object then we add the minute and find out the total minute by adding the minutes and the total second divided by 60. So second will get converted into minutes. Then from that we calculate the second minute and hour in the variable S, M and H. And we create a temporary object, TMP, temporary clock object. And that temporary clock object will be returned, which will be the sum of C1 and C2. So we have three clock object, C1, C2, and C3. C1 and C2 is initialized with hour, minute, and second. Then we are writing C3 equals C1 plus C2. That will make the operator overloading function plus will get called and c1 will go to the first parameter and c2 will go to the second parameter and the result will get added and the new timing will get stored into the variable c3 object after that we display the timing of all three objects c1 dot display c2 dot display and c3 dot display execute and see the program output 